I'm Simon Holstone of the Elephant Restaurant and Brasserie in Torquay. We try to use as much local as we can. I'm not really big on the word local as such because just because it is local it doesn't mean it's good. Um, there's as many shit suppliers locally as there are good ones. So what we do to try to use is the best that we can get locally. Um, so typical menu runs of seasons. Uh, we use a lot of farms. Um, we've got a sea there, so obviously Brixham fish plays a major, major part for us. And um, we, we change it as often as we can, really. So we go through the whole season. So some, sometimes it's quite barren, so it's quite, quite challenging. Typical starter, well, obviously we're quite big on beetroot. This, the dish that I'm uh, going to show you today is a summer style dish. So what we've done is we've done a carpaccio of scallops, which we've just marinated very lightly in a little bit of lime oil. Uh, and then I've got some crisps of uh, candy beetroot, which are raw, uh, just salted down. And then I've got some elderflower cooked golden beetroot, and we've just done it with like a pistachio and hazelnut oil. Main course, I'm using uh, lemon sole. Um, we land a lot of lemon sole in uh, Torbay, so it's perfect for us and it's sustainable as well. Uh, and I'm doing that with uh, Nestle Chef um, Lobster Fumé. I've made a little custard uh, and, a, uh, and a foam from the uh, stock as well. It's very, it's, it's very versatile actually, and um, the flavor of it is very, very good for, um, for, for a base product. Uh, and all I've done with the sole is I've got it on some wrapped potatoes and uh, some lardo and some fennel pollen and they all match up perfectly. Uh, I don't think it's the fact that we would be blacklisted for using them. I think it's more the fact that a lot of them, again, are so much better. Uh, convenient side of it is, yes, it is quicker than making it ourselves. It's also quite a lot cheaper. But as long as we have the skills in the kitchen to be able to replicate that, we know how to make it, we know where the sources come from, we know how to make that's not a problem. Consistency, yes, is, is a major part of it as well. Um, I wouldn't say we'd use it in our fine dining side of it, but definitely in the brasserie, uh, we use it for all our cream sauces. And again, like for the custards that we do, uh, it makes a fantastic royale. Dessert, we've done something that we are doing in the brasserie. So we've just got a compressed pineapple. Uh, we've got a pineapple and tarragon cloud as such, which is just a, a gelatine based uh, mousse. Um, just pineapple and gelatine, that's all it is. And then we've just got a nice sorbet with it. So very simple. We try to keep as many of our dishes to three elements as possible. Um, small kitchen, quite a big restaurant. Um, and we don't want to confuse people with too many flavors. You know, we're not trying to cre recreate the wheel really. We want to be busy, we want lots of bums on seats. Uh, Torquay is a hard market, very hard market. Uh, it's touristy, It's we're, we're surrounded by uh, coaching hotels, the quality of, of guests that come to Torbay, the um, majority here for day trippers, so it, it's quite hard for us to get people to come just on gastronomic destinations. But that, that's our plan. The reason we got the brasserie is because of that, so we can get the footfall and the fine dining, we can showcase our skills. You know, TV programme Saturday Kitchen is brilliant for us, but I need to be in the kitchen as well. You know, just being on TV is not good enough for customers anymore. They want to see the chef in the kitchen, which I'd like to say that I am pretty much all the time. Well, British Airways, the, the plan for that really is I've got three different menus to do, uh, from economy to club world, which is business, and then first class. And myself and Heston are working on uh, doing a special menu to commemorate the Olympics all the way through from May all the way through to October of next year. So it's, it's, a, it's a major challenge because obviously you're 36,000 feet in the air, you're using ovens that you're just using to reheat. But the food that we're doing is very much what I would consider elephant style uh, cuisine. I'm not going to sell my soul to you know, just accepting what I can do. I'm really trying to push the boundaries as much as I can.